Hello everybody, my name is Bobby and I'm just another reactor here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be reacting to Baby Metal, Give Me Chocolate. And it's a, an official video, it just says official on here, so I'm assuming it's a video. Before I get to this reaction, I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. But donations to my channel are not necessary, they're not required. You can watch my videos for free, but any support for this channel would be greatly appreciated. Now this song gave me chocolate. Uh, I've learned that it came out around 2014 when Baby Metal was still fairly new. I think they started around 2010, but from what I've read, when this video was released, it went viral and and it seems to me like it was the video that basically broke them out. Uh, I may be wrong about that. But uh, so it's it's a fairly uh, older video, I guess, uh, 2014, like I said. Uh, so I'm guessing it has the original three uh, vocalist dancers, uh, Sue Metal, Moa Metal, and Yui Metal. So uh, I'm about to find out. I'm expecting them to be pretty young on here, and I'm expecting the band to be badass as always. So without further ado, this is my reaction to Baby Metal, Give Me Chocolate. Okay, before I continue with that part, uh, first of all, uh, I was expecting them to look a little younger than this, uh, kind of like in the uh, Road to Resistance uh, song video that I reacted to that got blocked, by the way. But they do look a little bit older on here, uh, so I'm not really sure of the timeline of everything. This looks like the same stage setup from one of their other videos I reacted to, I think it was a uh, legend uh, where the head of the statue comes off and reminded a lot of people about Metallica's uh, uh, Injustice for All tour where Lady Liberty's head comes off of that statue. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome. Uh, one thing I like about Baby Metal is that the, their voices here in America, the, when the, what I'm used to is when I hear voices like that, it's usually pop music. It's just stuff that I just don't listen to. So, you know, when I hear their voices behind or actually in front of the music that's behind their voices, it, it just works. Uh, I don't know how it works, but it works. Uh, I mean, this music is heavy heavier than than a lot of heavy metal bands that are out there. This sounds like pretty much like death metal and some parts of it sound like old thrash metal, things like that. I mean, it just 
it sounds great. These these girls are great, and the way they choreograph their dances to this music is really cool. I'm really enjoying this, and I'm not even halfway through the song, so let let's see what else they do with this. So in this video, they, they still look pretty young. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, about the timeline of these songs like this one and, and the Road to Resistance or Road of Resistance. Can't remember the if it's to or of. But yeah, let me know, is, is this around the same time period? Uh, I could look it up and I'll, I'll probably do that, try to find out, but I have a few videos to upload so I don't know when I'll get to it. Uh, but they look pretty young, but they still look a little older than what I remember from some of their videos where they look like really, really little girls, you know. Uh, but yeah, this, this song, it's just really cool. I mean, Baby Metal is, they're the real deal. I mean, they, that band they have backing them, the Kami band, just sounds great. The, the crowds they get are just, you could tell they're just really enjoying it. Uh, th this is just awesome. Uh, I'm about a third of the way left in the song. So let me see what else they're going to do on this song. Well, that was Baby Metal with Gimme Chocolate. And like I've said before, that was just amazing. The band is great. Uh, they do a really good job of singing the songs and doing their little choreographed dances. And it just works. Like I said, I don't know how it works, but it works. I noticed the band was wearing skeleton costumes this time instead of, uh, you know, corpse paint or whatever you want to call that. Uh, which that was pretty cool too. I'm guessing it's the same band members, I'm not sure. 
Another thing I noticed in that song was there was one part where it sounded like their voices were being auto-tuned. Not that they need it, but I think they were doing it more for the effect. Kind of like uh, Cher did in her song, I think it's called Believe. She uses an auto-tone effect in that song, and I think Kid Rock uses one on Only God Knows Why. Like I said, I don't think these people need auto-tune. I think they just use it for that effect. So yeah, I did notice that. Uh, but that was really cool, that place they're playing at. I don't know where it's at, but it was really big. It seemed like it was a music video made in a live setting because the song itself sounded like the studio version. But let me know that in the comments too. I'm pretty sure it was. If that was live, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but anyway, that's my reaction to Baby Metal, Give Me Chocolate. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. And again, I want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, I have a PayPal link in the description. Or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free. But like I will say, any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Once again, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Baby Metal, Give Me Chocolate.